What's up everybody? This is John with Archer Fish. I am so excited today. I'm back fishing. I have not been for two over two months, which is like the longest in the last like 10 years. It's really crazy. It's been a very long time. I'm back at Lake Kachuma. Here we are. Beautiful Lake Kachuma in Santa Barbara. I have not been in two months. No idea what the fishing's like. The weather's been okay. It's a little cool this morning in the 30s. Uh, let's see, water temperature is cold but i'm hoping that these fish have uh, come up a little bit more shallow than they were and i'm hoping to get on a bite i got a lot of different techniques i'm gonna try today uh just get a little a little uh, taste there i've got some jigs spinner baits crank baits of course some sanko um i'm gonna try to avoid drop shot unless i just have to get the the bait down deep and we're gonna see if we can catch some fish all right see you in a minute i'm just gonna show you this i'm not i didn't catch a fish but this is what happens when you haven't fished in a while and you have not tuned your stuff. We got your... No! No! I had the first fish of the year. And I lost it. I was messing with these cameras. Great views. And I missed my fish. Alright, so uh, the fuel pump on this... Uh rental boat is a little faulty so it's taking me a while to get into place uh but it's a beautiful day it's nice and calm it's warm so i'm hoping to to get into some fish like it normally happens i don't really get into them about nine i had the one bite missed it because i was like too busy with the cameras it's been a while you know i'm a little rusty but i'm trying to get everything in order i got some new gear to try out which uh you know i'll show you that in a bit got a new landing net so i'm excited man i just uh I want to get on some good fish hopefully this morning. All right. All right, this boat is killing me. Not only is it impossible to stay started and kind of get to where I need to go, you know, I'm making a lot of noise every time I have to restart it and it's just not good for my two shoulder injuries, my back and my my other shoulder. I can't just do this for 5 minutes straight. It's ridiculous. I think it's just the fuel line, so they're going to send someone out. So just a little drama here. Um, yeah, all right. They came out and replaced the uh, the fuel pump for me, so I should be good to go now, which is perfect timing. I'm a creature of habit though, like I think most fishermen are, I like to start in the same spots, kind of check things out, read the situation, see if I see any fish up shallow, see if I catch any up shallow, and then just try, I just throw everything in the morning and just see what works. And then as the day goes on, I start kind of uh, trying to pinpoint exactly what I want to use and where. So, yeah, that's just a little uh, technique that I have. Look at this, lost him. Thought I had a fish there. Maybe I didn't, I don't know. All right, guys. Finally got one. Feels little. Like a smallie. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. All right, buddy. Thank you so much. That is a beautiful little fish. All right, so this is my first fish of the year. This is very exciting. First fish of 2021. Hopefully a lot more and a lot bigger ones, but thank you, buddy. You are a very special fish. So in the springtime, you can see this tree down here. And there's a lot of them. Every one of these trees is holding a fish. Hang on. Jeez. This guy took off with this like an hour ago. <laughs> a little small or a large mouth. It's cool. He didn't swallow it. Oh man, the water's cold. Tiny little dude. Thanks, bud. He's gonna be loaded with bass in the spring. Now, right now, I'm just seeing a bunch of big carp back here, not even any little ones. Like I said, I'm a creature of habit. And 
the spot has pr produced for me for months. You can see it's shallow. This is all was covered in water earlier. So hopefully all that we get all the rain um, run off of soon and it fills back up. But this is such a great spot. Look at this. This was holding fish for months and months, no matter when I decided to hit it, whatever time of day. So pretty cool. This, if you can see, is also why I try to come out as much as possible. So obviously you can tell that this comes out here, this uh, point, but you can, you know, I wouldn't have known that this is only like three feet deep right here. You know, this is where I fished a lot in the fall. Um, All right, guys, it is about midday for me. Um, it's very, very slow. Um, having a hard time finding the fish right now. I'm gonna try one more thing maybe. I really didn't want to do any drop shot fishing. Um, but I would like to catch some fish so you guys can see what's going on out here. And I just, uh, you know, would love to catch a few more. So uh, I'm going to hit that point back there, that sort of deep point. I had a fish on and I thought I was snagged. Maybe I am snagged too. Looks like I am. It's like a small amount. Nice small mouth. <laughs> All right. So let's go. All right, so these are your fishing conditions, your fishing report from uh, Lake Kachuma in Santa Barbara. Today is February 24th. Um, the weather is beautiful. It's probably in the 70s. Uh, it is a little windy, uh, but it was very cold when I got here. It was about 35. The water is still very, very cold. They have not uh, released any of the uh, rainwater in, so the levels are very low as well. You can see a lot of the bottom, a lot of the shallow area. So right now the bass are not moving shallow just yet, probably about another month, which is, you know, right on target for most lakes, um, as long as they don't dump a bunch of, uh, you know, aqueduct water like they do at Castaic. But so typically end of March is still your best bet. Um, you can still catch fish here. I've caught uh, three, you know, I caught a couple largemouth, one, um, uh, one largemouth, a couple smallmouth. Anyway, I've, I caught them all on Sanko, um, wacky rig. Um, nothing on the drop shot. I just started the drop shot off this little this little edge here and nothing yet. Um, I threw crankbaits first thing in the morning. I threw spinnerbait first thing in the morning in the shadows. Um, I threw uh, some jigs off the deep uh, points early uh, in the morning and then I tried a little bit in the afternoon. Nothing with the jigs, nothing with the square bill, nothing with the 10XD, uh, the lipless, um, the jigs, the spoon, or, I mean the spinnerbait. Yeah, that's pretty much it. So uh, Sanko it is right now. Um, and like I said, not seeing a lot of bass. I saw one bass shallow and I drifted over a lot of shallow water here. Um, a lot of trees and a lot of like um, perfect place for beds and stuff, but nothing going on just yet. Uh, at least not in the like three quarters of the lake that I, I checked. There's a the very southern end, which can be really good. Um, I haven't even gone over there because it's just, yeah, there's a lot of boats over there and eh, who knows. But anyway, that is it. That is your uh, update. That is your fishing report from Lake Kachuma. Thank you so much for watching. Again, please, um, if you're going to buy some gear, even if it's terminal tackle, uh, you know, Sankos, weights, hooks, any of that stuff, you know, use the link in there. I'll put everything in the in the description there, links to everything. It's affiliate stuff. So I get barely any money off of it, you know, pennies on the dollar, but it's, you know, over time, it, you know, it helps the channel. So uh, I got a lot of new gear. Um, that I'm using and stuff. So I'll put those links down there too. Um, thank you so much for watching everybody. I am super excited to be back on the water, uh, back fishing in 2021. Got a lot of stuff coming for you this year. Uh, I hope to see you guys out. I did see one guy here today. Um, what was his name? Steven. Uh, good to meet you, man. So I'm just throwing the jig three eighths of an ounce with the little, um, what is it? Crack and crawl from Guggen Bates. Um, got a, it's got a, it's like green pumpkin swim jig with um, a little red on it. So it kind of looks like a, you know, when the crawfish are molting or whatever. So the problem is 
I've gotten lucky with the jig. I'm not a huge, you know, I don't fish it very often. Um, I've just gotten lucky because, and I just kind of target the points. And, uh, you know, I've caught a few just from doing that, but it's really tough when you don't have sonar and you can't, you know, find the fish. Um, you know, it's very tough to just kind of blind cast a jig because you want to work it really slow. And, you know, that's going to take you forever to cover any substantial amount of water. Um, so it, it helps to have, you know, a fish finder so you can kind of see what you're doing. Um, I have gotten lucky and I do like throwing it. It's just kind of a fun, easy way. You know, you could throw it far, it sinks quickly, um, and it's a cool bite. So, anyway, just want to tell you what I'm doing with the jig. Literally, just after saying that, I catch a big fish on the jig. I just got done giving you my jig story. <laughs> that is, I literally pull, turn the camera. I thought I felt a bite while I was like, telling you my jig story find the fish um, I just kind of kept it down there and BAM now <laughs> I have thrown a lot of things in this exact same spot but again man I just got done saying that I was blind uh, casting this sucker I gotta get some pictures that was awesome All right, so I just got done saying on the uh, GoPro that um, I've gotten lucky with the jig and I did throw it this morning and I've gotten lucky throwing it at points and all that stuff. But the reason why I feel like I hadn't caught more fish is because um, you have to work it really slow, especially when the water's cold like this. And so aside from points where you, you suspect a fish might be, it's kind of hard to pinpoint them without a fish finder or anything. So. Um, I just got done saying that and I just worked it with about like a 10 foot area, like my first cast with it. And I thought I felt a bite while I was talking on the GoPro. Um, and so I just kind of kept it down there and it kept really, really very slowly sort of moving it. And I got that fish, which is just irony. I love it. All right, so just a little jig tip here. It is, uh, it is very important that you just move it super, super slow. Uh, because the water's cold, all the reaction baits that I threw today didn't even get, you know, nothing. And it's because the water's cold, the fish just aren't going to move unless it's really, you know, right in front of their face and, uh, you know, or they're really hungry. And, you know, with this, when the water's cold like this, their metabolism is slow. Um, oh, hang on, I got one. Just had another one, but I was filming a video and I missed it. Same spot. All right, so I just missed that fish. Uh, <laughs> I didn't have the uh, leverage to set the hook on him. Um, yeah, that's the, that's the issues with uh, recording videos. 